Subway set out across America to find high school students who excel at their passions and make a difference in their community. Every day is a big day for these high school heroes, and a big day deserves a better breakfast. You can be the next Subway high school hero when you build your better breakfast at Subway. The fact that the planet is overheating, we're in danger of all kinds of catastrophic changes. Food supply, rising sea level, destruction of habitat, the list goes on and on. It's difficult sometimes for young people and adults to figure out what their piece is and to feel like it's really urgent when there's so many other pressing things happening in their lives. We don't live independent of everything else. We're a part of it. My name is Rebecca Park. I'm a junior at Boston Latin School, and I'm the president of the Boston Latin School Youth Climate Action Network, or what we like to call YouthCan. It seeks to improve sustainability education at our school and across the state, and to create a comprehensive model of greening our facilities. This is kind of like upcoming events and like notices, like what kind of information do we really want to get out? We're working on trying to get other kids, first of all, just aware of climate change and the challenge that it poses to our generation. We gave the kids a problem to design a green roof for the school. Students, being students with a big vision, said yes. We had this idea to have different parts of the roof, like the four elements. So like the earth part would be the greenhouse, and the sun part would be the solar panels. We started with what I call a visioning session, because I wanted them to think about the full world of possibilities of what we could do. So whether we're generating our own electricity, whether we're growing food for the cafeteria, whether we're having a science class up there. The gym roof is more is stronger, right? Uh, that's what I was going to say. It's yeah. actually a really good idea. The other big part of the roof is that it has to be a community learning center. Kids in physics classes, for example, would be able to interact with solar panels on our building so that they could learn about renewable energy and how different energy is produced. I haven't seen any student in that program slow down in the slightest based on the knowledge that they weren't actually going to be in the school at the time that it comes. Rebecca's really good at generating ideas. She's shown herself to be a real leader. She not only can run a meeting, but she can help get other students to help out. Anything can go in except aluminum and plastic bags. She gets to go to meetings with people from around the city to talk about how we can help Boston go green. Students should be able to see that it's all connected, like the neighborhood store is saying they'll give you a discount if, if you bring your own reusable bags. She actually also introduced the mayor when Al Gore came to Latin School to kick off the climate leadership action thing, so she's had some um, great opportunities. She takes the values of youth can and she doesn't just preach them to other people and try to get them to change their ways, but she really tries to apply those values in her own life. That takes her from just being a great person, a great leader, to really being a hero and somebody that other kids like me can look up to. You know, it's kind of cliche, but I think it's really important that we all figure out a way that we're going to try to make a difference and leave the world a better place than it was. Yeah! Inspired by that story? Now it's your turn to inspire others. Join the thousands at the Subway High School Heroes app and to nominate someone from your community. Nominate, vote, and share to win prizes and spotlight the great things your peers are doing. Subway, where winners eat.